क्रिएट रीड अपडेट एंड डिलीट इन जे एस पी सो वी कवर कर्ट सेशंस इन जे एस पी लाइक हाउ वी कैन कनेक्ट डेटा बेस विद बाई यूजिंग जे एस पी पेज हाउ वी राइट अ कोड टू कनेक्ट डेटा बेस वॉट क्लासेज वी कैन यूज टू कनेक्ट डेटा बेस इन जे एस पी वॉट इज द अदर्स मैथड टू यूज इन जे एस पी एंड वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस टू परफॉर्म अपडेट डिलीट इंसर्ट एंड सेलेक्ट ऑपरेशन बाई यूजिंग जे एस टी एल लाइब्रेरी और जे एस टी एल टैक्स सो वी ऑल्सो कवर जे एस टी एल पार्ट एंड इन दिस सेशन सो वी डिस्कस अबाउट जे एस टी एल ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस जे एस टी एल कोर लाइब्रेरीज एंड हेयर इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट जे एस टी एल एस क्यू एल टैक्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट स्टार्ट सो वी ऑलरेडी नो अकर्ड स्टैंड फॉर क्रिएट रीड अपडेट एंड डिलीट which are the four basic uh, operation that can be perform on data in a database so in uh, jsp java server page is a java technology used for creating dynamic web page to perform this uh, operations called read update and delete operations in jsp so what we need uh, and uh, what are requirements uh, Uh, what are the requirements to to examining these operations and perform these operations what is the basic requirements so already in uh, servlet part uh, we did uh, uh, this operations we do uh, we perform all these operations in uh, servlets by using dot class file so in uh, our systems uh, we already have uh, Uh, database we installed uh, oracle tenji express editions in our system in or in my system sorry not our systems and uh, in my systems i have the database in my systems i have tomcat server in my systems uh, i have libraries so our system is ready to use so without wasting time let's start uh, demonstrations and explanations how to use database in our jsp page for that uh, we have to create uh, new applications so let me go to web apps folder of uh, tomcat uh, web server apache tomcat foundations tomcat 10.1 in tomcat 10.1 web apps folder is there and now here uh, we already discussed the servlet database by uh, using servlet we can perform these operation like connect uh, with servlet delete uh, insert uh, update so now here we create one more applications and uh, this applications name is jsp db uh, so called jsp database so now in jsp uh, database uh, let first uh, fulfill the web applications requirements so web app folder Web, sorry web inf folder and uh, in web inf folder let me create uh, well is not needed classes because uh, we are using jsp so we not create any dot class file but uh, let's just uh, fulfill the quorum of web applications and uh, one lib folder uh, we need this lib folder and uh, after that okay my structure is ready for web, uh, my web application structure is ready and uh, now this is a time to create uh, our first page so let me open edit plus 
in edit plus I just simply write one uh, I'll just create one JSP file okay this is my JSP file and I just save this file with name index.jsp and let me uh, save this index.jsp file in uh, C drive program files Apache software foundations Tomcat server web apps folder JSP database now parallel to web INF folder I just save this file so my file is created and uh, to call this file we need one more file this file is nothing but call dot web dot xml file so let me create one xml file so here is my xml file is uh, let me uh, write uh, code in xml so for that we create web app okay and let me close web app okay inside the web app let me use welcome file list and let me close that tag so I'm just closing welcome file list now in welcome file list uh, we write one more tag called welcome file and my welcome file name is index.jsp and uh, let me close this file okay this file will close now so this is what our uh, xml file is so let me save this xml file in c drive in uh, program files apache software foundations tomcat web apps jspdb inside the web and a parallel to the classes and lib folder my file name is web.xml save it ok our two file is created let me close one this directory for just open this file from here only so now my index.jsp is open and why I do that because when I am going to uh, save another file so I need not uh, go a uh, same process so I directly open that page uh, that folder to save the upcoming files okay this is our two files so first uh, file is index.jsp and second one is uh, web.xml and uh, uh, let me start uh, uh, our uh, oracle in command prompt so I just scroll down scroll down here is oracle database 10 expressions and uh, I just simply open uh, this oracle as command line so here is my command line the uh, SQL and I just connect with system and my password is tiger okay let me uh, uh, already we uh, create a file in uh, servlets uh, example so file is there or uh, uh, sorry not a file table is there and let me see the descriptions of table so our table name is emp and uh, let me see the descriptions this is our table and let's see how many records is there so select asterisk from so we have uh, three records 
राम 19 बैंगलोर श्याम 20 भोपाल रमेश 19 दिल्ली सो ओके अवर और एकल इज रनिंग परफेक्टली ना आई जस्ट मिनिमाइज ओपन एट इट प्लस नाउ एंड दिस इज टाइम टू राइट अ कोड फॉर इंडेक्स डॉट एक्स एम एल हाँ सॉरी इंडेक्स डॉट सी एस पी फाइल सो आवर फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इन जी एस पी आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग अस जी एस पी टैक्स टू पफ टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ वी कैन यूज और हाउ वी कैन कनेक्ट आवर जी एस पी आवर डेटा बेस फ्रॉम दी जे एस पी पेज फॉर डैट ना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू यूज डायरेक्टिव परसेंटेज ओके so uh one second so uh let's use directive tags and uh, in directive tags first of all we need to use uh, import a uh, page so this is a page directive already we discussed in uh, last uh, classes or sessions of jsp so just import so i just import a uh, one library that is help me to connect so the data uh, to the database so this the uh, library is java dot sql so i simply use this library java dot sql dot extract okay uh, if we need we can uh, use some other directories but uh, uh, okay input output exactly we don't need such directories uh, now but uh, let me import one more for io okay if we needed uh, we import some more libraries now uh, we see this is a directive text of jsp and now i am just writing some html codes so html head okay and uh, let's give some title to so here is a title so html head title and uh, some uh, title so oracle database oracle database connection in my jsp page so this is a title is and uh, let me uh, oh so it's too long title is so i just go uh, is control z control c okay is a too long title let me take oracle database connection and uh, after that uh, i have to close uh, head tag so head is closed let's me start body tag so body will start and uh, h1 now let me post this in h1 tag okay now this is the time to use some <coughs> scriptlet tag so this is our scriptlet tag used to create uh, or write some java codes 
and uh, we can also create our object of the class and we also uh, create uh, variables so first of all let me create our object of connection class so connection my object name is con and I'm not uh, initialized right now so I just put it null value and uh, I need a statement and uh, SM, uh, stmt let me take this one and uh, again not going to put any value in statement so here I am not going to put any value and uh, what uh, next uh, uh, we needed is so we need to create uh, one more because uh, let me take a first example for uh, uh, first example by using uh, select queries so I needed a result set so let me create a result set object and my result set object is null so uh, this is some variables we need to, to perform connection operations in JSP and then after because we are writing some sensitive code I uh, using exception handling here so yeah uh, exception handling part is also uh, come and we use here try and catch block for uh, handle the exceptions if some exceptions are come so first of all we need uh, class dot for name so class dot for name is n is capital for name and uh, our uh, driver is to connect the oracle so we use uh, oracle driver so oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver so this is uh, and our driver name that used to connect the oracle database and uh, if uh, there is uh, no error and if there is uh, uh, no box comes so let me use uh, our uh, implicit objects so our implicit object is out already available in JSP so out dot print ln and uh, let me print oracle db driver is loaded okay and uh, then after uh, we have to uh, create some string and if we want we can directly write a code like uh, we already seeing in uh, servlets so we can write a single line of code and we can also split the line of code for uh, driver manager get connections so if you want to do in a one line we can use if you want to split the code we can split the code in different variables so let me st uh, split this code by using a different variable so let me create variable so our first variable is uh, url and our url string is uh, jdbc so URL string is JDBC colon oracle colon thin so I'm using here thin driver thin colon at the rate our database is running in localhost so I use localhost 
and a default uh, port is 1521 so I'm using and I'm using XE addition so I'm using XE here is my database and then semicolon this is my URL and let me uh, create one more variable for uh, username so string username so my username is system and let me create one more variable for password so uh, my password is tiger so I put it here tiger and uh, close it and now time to uh, connect the database so I am using driver manager dot get connection So driver manager dot get connections and here I can pass a value so our first value is URL our second value is username and our third value is password okay so this will be completed connections will okay and uh, if uh, there is no error in this code then if error will come then definitely throw the exception but for a safety purpose for better understanding of the code i just say uh, write some some uh, some statement to okay up to here the code will be executed to know about it because uh, we already know we cannot uh, compile the JSP code uh, for finding some error so it is very difficult to uh, find out the exact code and that is why we using a try methods or try and catch methods you can use here and also I am putting uh, multiple lines to just checking the code where the code is executed and where is not if some error will come then we can easily get the appropriate positions then okay in these positions error will come so for that I'm just writing here uh, connect to the database connect to the database so if there is no here up to here then we can connect it to the Oracle database if some error will come then we see that error in catch part and then after this is a time to uh, create a statement for executions so let me take uh, statement object my statement object is stmt so stmt equals to uh, my connection is con so con dot create statement so I'm just using a con dot create a statement here and this method will uh, help me to write a statement or uh, to execute a statement or queries so let me create one more uh, variable for a query or uh, DML queries so my query is I'm using uh, result set object because I'm going to use select query so select asterisk from AMP this is my query and uh, I get my query then this is a time to store data in result set object already I created a object of result set RS so result set equals to statement dot execute query 
so this is our method for executing executing the queries and my query is query so my query is in query variable okay so this code will complete now here so if this line is executed I get uh, a response in result set object and uh, when I get a response in result set object a time to print the result set object and uh, if uh, there is no error in this code then we got data from the database in our csp page so in result set object data is there now this is the time to uh, print the data for that i am just uh, using some uh, implicit object and my implicit object is out so i use out object here for print the data so first of all I want to print some table and uh, in this table I have to use table head let me close the heading of the table so I have uh, three header two three my first head is name because in my table first is name second is age and third is address so I take this and uh, after that uh, let me close uh, oh I did a little mistake here table is there then definitely tr tag is there row is there then head is there and let me close tr ok this line will complete now after this line uh, I need to use some iteration statements and I use while here why I am using while because uh, if we retrieve a data from the database and we generally write a query that's uh, without using a where clause so select a stick from emp so uh, this uh, query will return me a multiple records or multiple row and if i got a multiple row then i have to print all the rows in jsp page for that i am using this while loop here and uh, let me write the code of while loop so in while loop we just uh, write uh, rs result set object dot next so if rx dot next it means if there is a record in result set object then i have to print data so let me copy this code again and uh, at that time ok I am using tr but I am not using th I am using td so in uh, uh, td what I want to do is I just put some variables name here so just wait a second let me finish the basic structure of table definition is close fine so uh, first of all what I get is I getting first parameter and my first uh, 
parameter is rs dot string of get string method and by using get string method I just retrieving the string and my first string or a table field is emp name so this is my first field my second field is uh, let me copy that oh sorry uh, it's not re is a result set object okay let me copy and this is a time to paste here so my second attribute is h but age is not a string type age is integer type so i use uh, int and my last one is address so this is a string type need not do anything and uh, concatenate these things to our strings so in java we use plus for concatenate like that so let me concatenate it okay so this will be uh, okay right now and uh, okay try is there uh, after what i want to do i just um, close the loop and uh, close the table so let me close that table okay table is closed and uh, now this is the time to write a catch block so this is exception handling I am just implemented here inside the cache block we just print some error and I just uh, use exception class or a parent class of all the exception so exception e and uh, simply I just print e dot print stack So I use this uh, track method for uh, tracking the error and uh, if you want we can use uh, uh, finally for closing our things then parallel to cache block let me use uh, fully finally method and uh, we already know why we use finally uh, we also seeing in uh, exception handling part in uh, java so finally block we generally used for uh, uh, closing open connections so our connections are rs result set let me close result set so result set is closed uh, our second open connection is stm statement let me close the statement and last but not the least our third open connection is con dot close so our connection is close and uh, lastly we see the scriptlet tag and then after the scriptlet tag let me close body tag and let me close html tag save it so this is a code for uh, connecting database using csp and 
a same or similar codes like in servlet we use here we also use uh, like a same code nothing much different uh, so let's start the server and see whether it's working or not so i just start the server first now the server is it started within a few seconds okay it's started now let me open the browser http port number is 1010 enter manage apps admin admin enter no so our application is the jsp database db let me click on it and oh see we got an error and uh, there's lots of error we got so let's see what is the error is in line 35 jsp file 35 and finally so we get error in finally we get a error in again in finally again in finally why are we getting error in finally block okay <laughs> fi and a double l y okay it's no issues unable to compile class the server encountered and this yes. okay we got some error in finally block let me do one thing errors comes here now nah? Why not? Uh, I just Comments tag is not working. Why? Okay. So let me comment it, save it, and let's again. Uh, compile the same code okay see I got something that ram d19 h okay some problem in uh, structure let me check once so in a structure we got some problems close th open th close th open th close th and then close dr I think there is no error if you see so uh 
database is connected and we also got a response but uh, some extra h tags come with each uh, attributes in heading and d comes with td so why this will happen Can we uh, saturate it? So maybe this will be work properly. Uh, I think uh, the problem is in uh, that part only because uh, uh, what happened? I just uh, using uh, tr tag and we use td so it will just uh, take such things in unappropriate way and that is why we get such errors so I think this will be ok Let me refresh and see. No name H will still come. Uh, okay, database is connected. Some uh, outputs was not uh, so properly, and there is no error in a logic. Just this. I was just want to remove this H and this T and our data will retrieve from the database no issues uh, in database and let's just recheck once where exactly I did a mistake and why these things are act like this td name and maybe td will Uh, table or not I closed table yes I closed the table I closed the TR table border equals to let me give fun hope this will be solved h tr th th close th star th close th star th close tr close almost all right code is
getting this okay let me close this browser and try with chrome http colon double slash manage sign in jdbc some code problem okay a little bit uh, problem is there but uh, a thing is see uh, we have a three record in our uh, database and uh, we get all three records here like ram age is 19 bangalore siam age is 20 so we got this error um, might be some uh, uh, loading problems are there uh, let me try one more thing maybe i solve that problem with that if it is not then we will see others example so what I want to do is I'm just going to Oracle and for that Oracle I want driver so I want JDBC driver and uh, just want to put that JDBC driver on my application for smooth functioning of my application so jdbc tv and here is a lib i just paste this code here it will just uh, give a little bit support to my applications for any types of database loading problem So let me go to manage and reload that application click on address okay leave it <coughs> so what we uh, do here is I'm completely uh, use the scriptlet tag here and uh, if I want to use such thing I directly use in uh, uh, JSP page why not I just close the scriptlet tag here and use my HTML code because the JSP file <coughs> and uh, when I need uh, such code like while and all so let me use again a scriptlet now I think uh, my problem will solved or not so me close th uh, see there is okay this is a problem is get it I just use uh, forward slash instead of backslash oh. so if I refresh see error will solved so my mistakes is very silly mistakes <laughs> I use uh, words less instead of using backslash backslash okay so this is a simple example of uh,
JDBC Java database connectivity in JSP and we can easily retrieve the record from the database and already we see is display here and uh, there is no problem to do that very simple code a uh, same code over the code we are using in uh, servlet a uh, same code we are also apply here so so it's uh, working properly so i got a record fine now uh, this is a very simple way to perform a select operations but already we see this method in servlets already we see how uh, data will be recovered and uh, how data will be updated or how data will be uh, retrieve or how data will be delete or insert from java file to database so in jsp we write almost the same code but the code we are seeing in servlet but jsp is come with uh, built in libraries and we are talking about jstl so if we are talking about a tag libraries or if we are talking about jstl like these libraries so why not we use java standard tag library to perform uh, this sql operations because uh, a jstl is provide uh, sql libraries or uh, there is a library available in jstl so why not we can use those libraries and uh, do the operations so for that we need uh, that library in our library folder like uh, uh, when we talk uh, in last uh, example when we see uh, how jstl will work or we see the core library of the jstl so we downloaded one file from the internet supporting JST library file, jar file. So we need that jar file in this program also if we are going to use uh, SQL libraries or J uh, SQL uh, JST SQL libraries in this program uh, in, in this program or others program. So uh, let's see some example and in that example uh, what uh, i want to do i just want to do use uh, taglib libraries so already uh, uh, we see the directive uh, page directive tag and let's see the taglib tab or taglib directive tag and we just simply use uh, uh, jstl libraries and JSTL SQL we can use and we can also uh, use core library of uh, uh, JSTL to uh, print something so without wasting time let us uh, see that example also so in that example because in that in this simple way we already see in servlet that how we can write edit update and delete code so we write all edit update and delete code by using JSTL so uh, this topic will also cover and uh, this one is also cover in the same program so let's uh, start and uh, for that uh, uh, let me do to create a simple program or a simple applications so it will be better to understand and uh, we will also see that uh, how we can do some more manipulations by using JSP so we can use little bit to uh, add CSS on that part and uh, we built one simple applications in that simple applications we just try to perform edit update delete insert operations so okay why we are waiting for uh, let me close it 
let me close it and uh, let me open the server okay already i'm in server uh, i just uh, copy my project let me copy that project copy and let me paste here so basically i'm just going to create some new one and uh, okay i just rename that project so i just put it jsp database by jstl so i just uh, rename that page uh, jsp database by java standard tag libraries and uh, this is our uh, next program so for that i need uh, that index file okay and uh, let's start with this index file so first of all let me uh, and see uh, in this example exactly we are going to create a simple applications or a simple uh, program with multiple JSP pages so let me delete all the code in that file now let's start it so HTML in HTML I use uh, head tag in head tag I use uh, title in title I just put some title and my title is uh, let me choose uh, oracle with JSTL so let me close uh -huh. title and let me close uh, okay I'm not gonna close so in parallel to the title I just want to use some style so exactly I'm going to use some uh, CSS so I just make CSS first CSS is uh, top and in this top uh, I just put it some position so I just use positions and I'm just taking the position is absolute so my so top position is absolute uh, no need to this one I just mention uh, top and I mention top as a zero percent I mention right and I mention right as a zero percent and left so let me set left as a zero percent and uh, bottom so let me take bottom as a uh, eighty percent fine and then I just close it fine our next uh, class I just make is uh, dot uh, left and uh, almost uh, I use this the same code and left to I use uh, positions I use uh, top right but uh, let me uh, change some uh, positions like I need 20% from the top 80% from the right and 0% uh, was okay from the left and uh, 
I need 0% from the bottom and again I need one more class call right and in this class also I need a same values but with little manipulations and uh, here I needed uh, my top from 20% right 0 left from 20% bottom 0 and uh, after that let me close the style so style will close and now after let me close head so I'm just closing head okay and then after a little bit more tag I am going to use like uh, body and uh, okay which can see after properties of body so body tag and then after I use division tag and uh, let me apply upper CSS code so I use uh, class equals to so in first definitions I use uh, to implement uh, top class and uh, let me close the div so let me create some more divisions in my page so basically I need uh, a three division in my page first for uh, top second for left and third for right so this is uh, what I needed in my page and uh, let me close the body very easy nothing else is there body is closed then I also close the HTML and uh, let me save this file if we see the preview of this file nothing is over there fine so I apply CSS and uh, a CSS will apply on and this CSS will apply on the iframe so I am using some iframe here So I'm using iframe uh, id equals to let me take uh, top and uh, src source I don't have right now any source so I just put it blank height I just use uh, height is 100% and uh, width so I use width is 100 percent and uh, this is my iframe so I just close the iframe okay let me copy that iframe and uh, after copy the iframe okay see one more property is left and this is very important property and the property is name so let me put it name is blank now I will put name after so I just copy and I also need one frame in uh, left divisions and I also need some frame in a 
right division so I need these things I need that frames so okay now uh, source is not there but I just put a different names first one is top and uh, second one is left and the third one is right let me change the id to right and left ok and can you see the output uh, some output is like that nice ok so what I have here is I have uh, So I get like that output and this is uh, overall structure of uh, my web page what I am want to design to use JSTL's uh, libraries or JSTL uh, tags I use core and SQL so for that I just make a structure of my web page Th this is my web page structure and uh, after uh, this let me create some SRCs resources so the first of all I want to create a resources for my first page and uh, I just want to uh, create uh, that uh, resources by using uh, HTML we can also use uh, a CSP if we want and we can use uh, HTML too so I use uh, okay let me use uh, CSP only why we use other tag let's use CSP so create one more file my first JSP page and uh, in this uh, JSP page uh, I just uh, write a few line of code so I just write here uh, center So inside the center tag I just want to use uh, H1 tag now inside the H1 tag I just want to use fonts and inside the fonts I write welcome in Oracle with JS TL slash SQL. So I write these things here and uh, let me save it. And the name of this file is top dot JSP. I just save it here so my one resource is ready to use and uh, I put SRC in SRC I just put top dot JSP so let me see the output now sorry
okay so wait um, our server is running let me open the web browser so let me open that web browser http one zero one zero admin admin and uh, our uh, file is uh, jsp db by jstl now see the output i got welcome in oracle with jstl slash sql so our source is uh, running well if we need we can apply some break okay so our resources work properly now this is the time to add uh, more resource so i create uh, one more file or oh, sorry i don't want to create right now any java file so let me create uh, jsp okay one more file i created here and uh, this file is I just save that file with name left so this is my left dot uh, html file uh, sorry jsp file and uh, in this uh, I just want to put some uh, fonts and inside that fonts I use uh, some strong content and let me put select operations so ok select operations now I just uh, want some uh, on order list and uh, I exactly want to uh, full list item so my first item is read record my second one is add record my third one is update record and fourth one is delete record ok so So what I uh, do next is I just uh, put it uh, some uh, anchor tags with this. So let me give some link and uh, I have to give uh, some uh, target so the target is right so all 
targets are right and uh, let me uh, give src to my next division type and uh, this load left dot jsp uh, i left one more right so okay let's put it save and uh, a little br tag save it and then i'm just refresh the page okay some error dot csp so i just refresh it i got that uh, <coughs> records now left page is there now top page is there my working area is remaining so go to there and one more thing i want to use here is called center tag so i just want to put each thing on this center of this area so i use center tag okay i'm not good in uh, designing part but okay this is this a few options we have Okay, I don't want to use much CSS. Leave it. Leave it the decoration part. We will see in some other stage <coughs> when we discuss about the CSS bootstraps and the supporting files or frameworks. So okay, I have my left page now. This is the time to go to the select page or uh, go to our or to select our first options so let me create one more jsp file and uh, i just okay i don't want java file let me add one more jsp file and uh, The name of this JSP file is select dot JSP. So this is uh, our uh, select dot JSP file is, and uh, let me give href to my left dot JSP page and first uh, anchor tag. So my first anchor tag hyper reference is select dot jsp so this is my hyper reference href so when i click on read record this file will call okay when this file will call uh, first of all let's check first this file is called or not so hello uh, reading record so 
so maybe when I refresh it and when I click on that uh, read record then I got reading record okay it's working it's now working so let me write the code so first of all I using a directive tags and uh, I use page directive tag here so at the rate percent and uh, first of all we need page import so we need a one file and that file name is uh, java dot sql dot asterisk so need this one first and then after I use uh, another uh, directive tag so in this directive tag we have use uh, tag lib directory for uh, JSTL I use URI and uh, the URI is uh, HTTP colon double slash java dot sun dot com official websites slash JSP slash JSTL slash SQL so I use this one and uh, yes I want to provide some prefix so let me take SQL as prefix okay and after that I need one more file to use and the file I am using is my core gesture so I am using SQL and second one is core and uh, let me take uh, prefix for C so stand for core so I use uh, uh, two JSTL libraries here already we uh, see core libraries and uh, we see how this core library will work we use lots of uh, other stacks by using this library so in this uh, program we concentrate on SQL so after that uh, what uh, we can do we can use SQL prefix for set data source and uh, we just assign one variable and let me take uh, my data source so I use this one and uh, after that uh, I have to provide some driver so I am using oracle so my driver is oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver so I use this one and then after I need URL and uh, my URL is jdbc colon oracle colon thin colon at the rate localhost colon 
1521 same we already use it and x e addition so this is our url and uh, user is system password is tiger so this is our uh, data source and this is uh, uh, like that we can uh, set data source by using JSTL SQL uh, tag library and uh, after that uh, after setting this one we have to use our prefix is SQL SQL then query so we need to set the queries for that data source and data source equals to this one where equals to this one and SQL colon query now my query is select asterisk from my table name is AMP so data source uh, asset as dollar and uh, data source is uh, my data source already we declare in set data source so I put it here and uh, I want to store result in result variable so I created one variable called result so when this will be execute so save this one uh, let me check whether it's some errors or not so I just refresh it click on uh, read record ok I got an error invalid directive in line 2 ok not able to read JSTL SQL L uh, because uh, I need to place libraries for that and let me check uh, whether I having this libraries and some others program or not so, uh, might be I have those libraries okay I have a few libraries let me copy this, this libraries and uh, paste it in my applications lift folder okay. fine so I paste libraries here and then after go to the web browser and again refresh that page so let me click on read record and uh, find two four and count it okay okay see it's solved there is no error uh, reload click on click on read 2 4 t 
traffic. Uh, some uh, problem in that libraries because uh, of connections. Wait for a second. Let me solve this. Press one more time and click on read. Once stop and start the server. My server is started again. Refresh the page. Click on sheet. Okay, we will solve it. So We uh, do some codes. So okay, um, we will solve it and uh, let first complete the code. So after that, uh, when uh, query will execute, uh, we need to uh, print data. For that, uh, I'm just using body tag and uh, uh, if we want to manipulate with somebody we can manipulate after that uh, let me uh, display some uh, text so i'm using some br tag so let me use for br tag uh, one Center tag and uh, a text with strong employ record. Okay, and then few more. Be attack. So when the code was uh, uh, run properly, we got a result in result uh, variable, and uh, after that we just uh, put it a employee record. Employee after employee record, we just. write some table so for that uh, uh, we need uh, a table with uh, three columns so I just created here a table with three columns and uh, first of all uh, what I need is uh, here I need first th tag and uh, then after I use td ok so in first I just put it uh, employee name 
our second field is age and third is address so this is our table structure and uh, after that uh, uh, we are going to print the record and by printing the record we need some more uh, JSTL uh, tag and for that I am using C prefix for core library and from core library I use for each loop to display the record so here I am using a for each var equals to and uh, let me take uh, row and uh, items so my items comes from uh, so where is my item my items is comes from result dot rows so I get one by one I getting a rows and after tr let me close my c for each tag prefix okay <coughs> now in td i have to print the values and for that also i am using console prefix c and i use uh, out tag to print the value and uh, yes i getting a value from the row object so let me call row dot and my uh, table field is EMPC in database if I see field name is EMP name age and address worker number and worker so I'm using the same things here so row EMP underscore name my first field uh, let me copy that and uh, this one is a second field so my second field is H and uh, third field is address so this is our field r now the code is uh, completed let me center okay this is the time to refresh the page and let's see the output so if i click on read record Okay, getting some error in for each line number 27, column number A. Let me check once. So the error is for each. Error in for each, but why? For each. We use result so uh, out value query okay R E S result okay. Uh, okay let me once again stop and start the server Uh, 
yes click on read 27 it's be it's be some extra character showing with this c okay let me do once i just this one and copy that and then close it now let me refresh Click on read, record. Okay, see, I get the output. So, uh, for by using JSTL library, we can easily getting the record, and uh, we see we got all the informations present in database. Let me check once database so i have three records and uh, here is also displaying a uh, three records so this is for uh, retrieving the data from the database or select data from the database now let's see a next part so I created one more JSP page I created one more JSP page and uh, in this JSP page let me write a code for uh, uh, insert the values so let me write a code to insert the values so for that uh, what I needed is uh, let me take uh, this code and uh, let me paste this code here and save the file and the file name is insert dot jsp so save this file uh, now time to write the code for insert so here I created uh, one more uh, SQL tag but this SQL tag was not used query tag uh, so sorry this SQL prefix is not used a query tag I use update for it so update data source ok same this will be also same and let me close update ok and uh, my update uh, query I should write here and my update query is insert into emp values are so let me take three values two for a string and one for integer so let me take some name uh, so 
Amis H is 18 year old he is from uh, Delhi or uh, he is from Goa ok this is my query and I want to insert that record and my file is uh, insert.jsp let me go to left and give a hyper reference to the anchor tag and my hyper reference is insert dot gsp ok so when I click on add record button this file will execute and inserted this record is a static right now we can make it dynamic by uh, inserting record using text box and all so after see uh, we will see after how to do that so here we just use a simple uh, insert query and when this will be run then record will be inserted to the database so i just save this and uh, refresh the applications now after refreshing the applications ok I don't like this one let me remove that this will be better refresh it and uh, when I click on add button so record will add it so first read the record Ram, Syam, Ramesh ok Ramesh is already there from Delhi I also added one more Ramesh from Goa so let me click on add button and see record is added Ramesh Goa and let me check on database select a stick from EMP so I get a record Ramesh Goa ok insert query will run properly now a time to see another query and this query is belonging to update so let me see update query and uh, for that I have to create one more file JSP and uh, let me save the file with name of update so update.csp is my file name and uh, we will add some code here so for adding the update code uh, I just uh, copy and paste our previous code so here and let me update from the left.csp file so our next uh, reference is update so update.csp I just save it and update.csp file so we need to update a query uh, for that we just need to update this query so if we update with update query it will be work so I said update my table name is EMP set age equals to let me uh, set the age is 21 where employ name is equals to so I have to record with Ramesh so let's update Ramesh age so let me save it once and check whether Ramesh is there in the ok there is two record and the age of Ramesh is 18 and 19 
and uh, in my I just want to update with 21 so let me okay 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 did it a big mistakes here I write the query in query tag I have to write the code in update tag so let me select a stick from Fine. save or refresh the web applications so let's read the record okay I read it a record my record is showing here and let's click on update so the age of Ramesh here is 18 and 19 after updating the age will be 21 so see Ramesh age was updated and the age is 21 now if I insert another record see I inserted a record and the Ramesh age is 18 let me again update see it will be changed with 18. this is uh, so this is for uh, update one more left is how to delete so let me use or create another JSP page save this page with delete.jsp and just copy and paste it ok so I just simply copy and paste the code here and uh, what I need to do I just want to edit and that part so for that uh, we can see uh, one more uh, uh, SQL uh, tag so we see, uh, see query we see set data source we see update now one more we can see here for deleting purpose I can just uh, so one more things so our prefix is uh, C for uh, call library to C colon set where so I set H and uh, I just put it value equals to and I put some values called 20 ok and here what I do I just uh, write a delete query so delete from AMP where AMP name is equals to question mark and uh, here the another tag role will come SQL is our prefix of SQL and we use parameter tag or param tag value is equals to so here we can use uh, the value and the value is equals to amp underscore name so like that we can use such value but uh, I'm just declare for the age let me declare for the AMP name and my AMP name value is 
Ramesh. Let me save it. So uh, when this query will run, he get a name from this where and value is Ramesh. So the query is delete from EMP where e name equals to Ramesh. So let me save it once and uh, uh, this tag will not use the we will use uh, this tags if you want to delete by h then we can just remove here and remove here we just write where na h equals to question mark and we put here h so save this one let me put to uh, another hyper reference to delete dot jsp file ok this code will completed now and uh, let me refresh it so when I click on uh, read record I get this four are uh, this records let me add one more record so one more Ramesh record will add it if I click on update record age will update it to 21 if I delete record then all Ramesh record will delete it see all the Ramesh record will delete I just click read record ok these records add one more record Ramesh record is added let me add one more and the Ramesh another Ramesh another Ramesh now I added four rames and see in database also there is six record total and there is four records for rames and the age of rames is 18 now what i do here i just uh, click to update then a uh, age of rames in each record will update it to 21 see 21 and if i click on delete all rames record will delete so this is a uh, example of uh, database connectivity by using JSTL uh, SQL taglib libraries in JSP 